Right. Um, <clears throat> I won't spend much time on this last bit because uh, unfortunately Windows uh, Movie Maker doesn't have an authoring process. An authoring process is the uh, is the, the, the part where the actual video gets burned onto the disc, a DVD or a uh, CD for a VCD or a Super VCD type file. So I'm just bringing up a um, pretty common program that most people have and that'll be Nero. And you can see here we've got uh, in Nero Vision we've got capture video, add video files, make movie, make slideshow, import um, an AV CHD from hard disk or import a disk. So uh, what we really want to do is add video files. So we'll go off and we'll um, choose a video file and it's asking where where have we got these video files so we know that they're uh, they're all residing in our um, video directory we should see uh, a video in there so we'll open that one up <coughs> it's going to import that there we go and uh, what we might do is we might add another one there too just to um, put a second one in it'll be probably the same video but a different version of it okay now we've got two there right we'll choose next uh, <coughs> it's asked, telling me we can download menu templates, okay, we'll just, I won't show those. Uh. Okay, now what we've got here is our two separate videos. We've got a background that we can edit. These little icons here, you can just, uh, once you've, uh, you've got that, you can, um, when you put the disc into the DVD player, these will appear on your TV screen and you can just click on one or the other on your computer, wherever you want to do it. You can uh, change the name of the uh, file when you put the disk in. And you can see also here we're using uh, only a few hundred megabytes of the, uh, of the space on the 4.7 gigabyte DVD. Uh, yeah, so uh, we've only got one choice here really for our, uh, for our backgrounds. Uh, there we go, we've got a couple there, but we can download more of those off the web the ones we make ourselves but uh, just use the default one there so once we're happy we've got our two video clips in there we've named them named them correctly we can then go to the next this is where we can test them out we'll click on one of them okay and we can go back to the main menu and we can check the other one okay both of those are working fine and then we're just choosing next and it's uh, the video mode PAL aspect ratio automatic quality automatic fit to disk it's telling you what it's got the two titles uh, burn to device there we go we just put a blank DVD in and hit the burn button and away we go it's pretty much as simple as that space use um, 300 megabytes out of a four point 38 gigabyte disk quality excellent so that's in um, uh, 720 by 576 pal okay there that's it the burning process but there, there's lots of different programs for doing your uh, authoring and uh, I'm sure you've all got one or two of them on the computer uh, from different sources buying uh, different uh, video cards capture cards CD-ROM burners, that sort of thing, and DVD burners. A lot of times they throw um, they throw uh, a disc in there with some of these programs on them.